Shalom, Ozark Geek here. All right, so I've been working on getting my solar system back together, and I'm reconfiguring it this year um, from what I had previously. So recently I purchased this uh, GrowWatt off-grid solar inverter. It's a model SPF 3000 TL LVM. Don't know what all that means. Anyway, um, the... Um, system has 12 batteries and uh, I'll lift the lid here you can see here's all 12 batteries these are six volt batteries and it says 232 hours they're uh, flooded lead acid batteries anyway um, what you're seeing here is I've got um, solar coming in on this line here so far, I've got one panel up. Um, this is the negative lead from the uh, bus box, uh, and positive from the battery. I've got an emergency cutoff here. Currently on 200 amp hour fuse, just in case that I've got another emergency uh, breakaway uh, Anderson uh, fitting. And uh, right now, this box is getting AC from a wall outlet here going into it and I'm eventually going to take a line here and what I'll do is I use my RV cord that I've got outside plugged onto a telephone pole I'm going to bring it in and connect it here AC in okay and then I'm going to take another one the actual the actual connector plug it here going back out that way my uh, AC power is running in here and uh, all I have to do is plug it in or unplug it is a disconnect for a main power in. Um, this has a grow what Wi-Fi module so that I can monitor this on my uh, uh, cell phone or my home computer and uh, on here you can see there's the uh, AC wires uh, solar coming in or excuse me that's battery coming in right here and in the back is the solar uh, display right now currently shows I've got uh, 122 volts in 22 volts out the little T icon there shows that we're on uh, AC power external so the idea of this is going to be to uh, have an off-grid uh, emergency backup. I don't know how long the batteries are going to go hold up if I have to run solidly on AC. The box here has a 3000 uh, watt sine inverter, um, pure sine wave inverter on it. So that should allow me to keep uh, the lights on, my computer on, uh, a little bit of power for uh, a couple things, keep the refrigerator going. But uh, um, one of the things I liked about this unit is I can get a second one of these boxes and set it up here adjacent to it, uh, provide the inputs to it, and I can run them together for a 240 volt output if I have a large enough solar system and battery bank. I'm not going to worry about that currently, but the growth opportunity is there. And then there's a lid here that goes in here like so to make it look nice and neat but this is one of my projects I've been working on for a while uh, trying to get all the parts together and uh, so I'm hoping it's going to work okay I've still got uh, the solar panels to get set up I've got a controller box out there that I'm going to set up three banks of three panels 300 watts each and uh, those will go into this controller box that will convert it over to a uh, a single line of battery cable coming into uh, into here to this uh, shed from outside and uh, when I get it all done it should just be a you know set it and forget it type of a system and uh, this will be emergency backup for me if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below, hit the like button, and if you haven't already yet, hit the subscribe button. And uh, 
I'd like to thank the guys from uh, Watt247.com for the uh, purchasing the box from them. And uh, Ian's been very good at offering assistance to my, my many questions. So uh, that's all I've got for now. Ozark Geek out.